only on Christ 17 TV, back up side Joe head with another one. Today we're going to episode four on MLB players I grew up on. And today we're going to have to go with the best hitter that I seen growing up in my time, which is Mr. Tony Gwynn. Boy, was that guy amazing. And boy, did he put the bat on the ball and you couldn't get that boy strike three. It was almost impossible. Well, let me just say this. It was so hard to strike Tony Gwynn out. He only struck out 188 times in the whole decade of the 90s. People are doing that in one year now in the MLB. People are getting 200 Ks in a year, okay? He struck out 188 times the whole decade of the 90s. That's crazy. He got his 200th and 3,000th hit on his mother's birthday. How crazy is that? How freaky is that? He had a 429 average against Greg Maddox, a four, <laughs> a four times Cy Young winner, a 355 game wins, and a Hall of Famer. And he never struck out one time versus Greg Maddox, not one time in a hundred and I want to say 107 at bats. Crazy. Five seasons in a row with 350 batting average or more. It hasn't been done since World War II. Crazy. 297 three hit games. 297 three hit games. Do you know how many times he's struck out three times in his career? 20 year, 20 years? One time. Struck out three times in a game, only one time in 20 years. And had 297 three his games out this world, okay? Okay, it is nuts. <sighs> he had 434 Ks and over 10,000 at-bats. Another crazy thing. He batted 302 with two strikes. The major league average combined is a buck 83, okay? Five-time All-Star, five gold gloves, eight batting titles, 338 career batting average, 3,141 hits, seven-time silver slugger, five 200 hit years, and you know what? what the, the loyalty was so good. The loyalty is absolutely royalty when you can stay with a team your whole career. Like Derek Jeter did. Like Tony Gwynn did. Like Mike Schmidt did. I mean, 20 years with the same team is incredible, okay? Incredible. He only averaged 21 strikeouts per season. Per season. So that means out of all that at-bats, he got, say, 600, 700 at-bats 21 times per year. That's it. Done. Watching him was a privilege. I, I, I got to see him play a lot against the Braves, the Giants. He played the Yankees one time in the World Series. They got swept. That was his only time making the World Series. But watching him just take the ball the other way, take the ball up the middle, taking a pitch that was so close, everybody else in the league would have swung at it, but he takes it for ball four, is out this world. His eye was incredible. The way he will put the bat on the ball and spray it around the field, and he would get three or four hits like this all the time. He's, I, I can imagine how many two-hit games Tony Gwynn has. That stat, I don't have. I should have looked that up before I got on here, but just out of 3,141 hits, 297 times he had three hits in one game. That is crazy. That's crazy. And only one time in his whole career, he struck out three times. <laughs> I've seen him play. I've seen him play. Candlestick Park, I've seen him play. One time, one time 
I seen him play, and I know I remember he got a double in that game. I remember that. But just watching him on TV, watching him in the All Star game, the way he was quiet, conducted his business was was really really fun to watch. And he never got too high. He never got too low. You never seen him get mad like that. He would take his outs and he would run back to the dugout. He would get his hits. He would run right to first base or run to second. He wasn't showing anybody up. He was, he was the ideal player you would want your son to watch, to 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 be like, if he's trying to be an MLB player. I mean, the guy was just just a class act, just always smiling, just always just looked like he was having the time of his life every time he set his feet on that field, and just to be able to watch that guy for twenty years play the game he loved and play at a high level from year one to the 20th year was just amazing to watch. And I don't know if we'll ever see another hitter like that again in my lifetime. Who can bat 350 for five years in a row is out this world. Hasn't been done since the war, World War II, they said. And just playing all every 20 years in San Diego, beautiful weather, beautiful fans down there, and just always just playing. He wasn't hurt a lot. He was always in the lineup, and he was always there. And every time you turn on the ball game, guess what? You will see Tony, Tony Gwynn what? On fucking base. Cause he, because he's, he's either hitting the ball all around the park or his eye is so good he's he's making you pitch outside the zone a little high a little low because you know anything in that square he's gonna put that bat on the ball and spray it wherever if you put the ball outside he's going oppo you pitch him inside he's pulling you pitch it down the middle he's going right up the middle the guy was amazing and i'm just like man i was just thinking like has there ever been another batter that I've seen that's even close to Tony Gwynn? Maybe Wade Boggs, maybe, but nowhere near Tony Gwynn, though. Wade Boggs was a hell of a freaking hitter. I'll do one on him soon, but he was no Tony Gwynn. Tony Gwynn is a different, different kind of fucking animal. He's a Padre. He's a Padre for life. He's probably the greatest San Diego Padre of all time in my eyes for sure. He's number one on that Mount Rushmore for Padres. He's number one. Absolutely number one. And I just wanted to throw that there because that was one of the most exciting batters who wasn't a home run hitter. He only hit 135 bombs in his whole 20 years. So he wasn't a home run hitter, but he was the most exciting hitter because he would spray the ball everywhere. I mean, two strikes, he still batted over 300 with two strikes. That's how deadly this guy was. While the rest of the league combined is 183. Imagine that. A guy hitting 120 points higher than the average for the whole league with two strikes. That's how good he was. Not 20 points. 120 points. That's how good this guy Tony Gwynn was in his prime. And his prime was all the way to his last year. Okay. He was still getting 170 hits all the way down to his last years. So with that being said, man, hit that like, hit that subscribe. And it won't cost you a dime. And I just had to reminisce on Tony Gwynn, one of the best ball players that I ever was was actually to lay my my eyes on and I was lucky to see him play one time and what a special talent man what a special special talent it is and they don't make players like him no more humble he wasn't doing bat flips he wasn't showing up the pitcher he get on base he smile <laughs> win lose he would smile and that was just Tony Gwynn, a hell of a ball player and the best 
hitter the game has ever seen in my lifetime. And I don't know if we'll ever see another major league hitter that good ever again. So with that being said, man, this is Christ 17 TV. And today's episode four is about Tony Gwynn. Rest in peace, Tony Gwynn. He's been gone for a while, but never forgotten, man. This is for you, Tony Gwynn, episode four, MLB players I grew up grew up watching. Catch you on the flip side. See you on episode five real soon.